lots of video game reviewers on the internet, but only a few can manage to be entertaining and hold my interest while doing so. So today, I'll be talking about one of my favorites, The Classic Game Room. The Classic Game Room started way back in 1999 as an internet startup from some site that I just can't remember. And that makes this show one of the very first professional video game review shows on the internet. The show was created by this guy named Mark and his friend David, who sadly left the show in 2000. I'm a sick f Back then, the show reviewed stuff that was modern, like Dreamcast, N64, and PlayStation 1. But sooner or later, they decided to review older stuff, like Genesis and NES and stuff. And the older stuff became really popular. But sadly, for a lot of reasons, the show was cancelled in 2003. I often wonder, where did it all go wrong? We lived the non-stop high-octane lifestyle that is being a low-budget internet video game review show host. If the game room is not going anywhere because we, of you, we get because of you, him up? our fucking show is not going anywhere. I will because go to me. I will go because to see you. And your coke habit. No, it's too. Hot. I don't think we had any other intentions but to torture him slowly. Good morning. What else is there to do, really? Never to be seen again on the internet. Until, until the dolphin gods got really upset with Mark and decided to give him the idea to make Classic Game Room again. Now into the new title, Classic Game Room. High definition. I mean heavy duty. Nothing has really changed from the new episodes to the old episodes except maybe it just being Mark talking the whole entire time and some better quality video game footage. Now you may be asking, Z Knight, what is so good about this show? It's just some dude talking for about a few minutes. Well, simply put, it's Mark. I mean, Mark is just so happy, he enjoys what he does, and he's just so excited about everything that he can make anything that he reviews or anything that he talks about interesting. I mean, he reviews lots of stuff like video game consoles, controllers, toys. He even reviews boxes. Video game boxes. And he still manages to make that interesting. How is that possible? Well, I don't know. I mean, does anybody know this guy? Does anybody personally know Mark? Because he's actually more exciting as a video game reviewer than anybody that I've ever seen. Maybe some call me Johnny is close, but that's about it. Does anybody know this guy? Who is Mark Bustler? We'll be able to find out one day. But for now, who knows? And that leads me to one question. Is Mark gonna lose his touch? Well, maybe not. I mean, it has been 13 years and it's still been really, really good. So I don't think it's gonna happen for a while. So I highly recommend that you watch the show to see if you like it or not and form your own opinion about it. Hopefully you like it as much as I do. So yeah. Thanks for watching, see you later. I hope you both get indigestion.